transitioning that from one system to another system is an absolute nightmare because you often have to rebuild those individual notes and a multi-relational database, which is really hard. Confluence versus Google Sites for documentation. So we very recently put a video up on the channel about this very question, but I'll cover it again very quickly. You have the option when you're creating documentation, whether that be an intranet, whether that be a wiki, whether that be how-to guides or anything else that you want to use internally for your business to document systems, processes, or how-tos. You basically got very simple choice. You can either go with Google's internal tools, so that would be Google Sites, or you may choose to use an alternative. Now that might be Confluence, might be a dedicated like, you know, intranet app. There's a number of different options out there. You might use something specifically for storing systems and processes and SOPs. There's one called Guru, which is really popular, which kind of lives in a browser tab add-on. And effectively what you're choosing between is, do I want to do this the Google way or do I want to find something that's dedicated? Now, if you want to do it the Google way, it's going to be cheaper because you're just using Google's system, right? Google's ecosystem, you've already paid for the licenses, so it doesn't cost you any extra. With the Google way, you're going to get better integrations as well. So things like when you're building out a Google site, you can have data embedded really easily into the site, whether that's a Google Drive folder, whether that's a calendar, all of those live update. You can still embed those into other apps, but not all of them support all of the Googly features. So the integrations are going to be better. Security is going to be better because you can lock down to Google-based groups, right? So your Google security groups you've created in your admin panel, you can add them to a Google site. So certain groups of users can have access to certain features. So what would be the advantages of using something that's not Google? Confluence, Guru, or another third-party solution? Well, that would be things like you have a dedicated app and so there's a dedicated place to go not everyone necessarily thinks i need to go to my intranet so i'll go to a google site you usually have to train your users to go into google drive find the site get the url put it in their bookmarks bar you could always put it in a policy if you wanted to but effectively you then have one place to go to but if it's an external app your team are more likely to go there just because they're going to remember that oh that's in confluence and so they'll go there for the internet. Number two is you're gonna get more features. So Google Sites is pretty basic and any third-party app is gonna give you a lot more in-depth features. If you wanna use something like Confluence or Guru, you're gonna have the ability to link between different tools, between different pages. You're gonna have the ability to potentially have a little bit more workflows on your individual documentation. So maybe you have a status of that document. Maybe the status is this is being drafted versus this is in production versus this needs an update, right? You don't have those statuses when you're working with Google. If you wanna really go to town and go for something very advanced, like using Notion, not the most advanced tool itself, but pretty advanced in terms of if you're implementing a wiki, something like Notion is like a mini database and you could have all kinds of custom fields on any wiki or internet page that you're using and you can link between rich data on the pages as well. So if it's something like a to-do list, you can have that live synchronized to appear in multiple pages. If you have a whole bunch of different pages on a particular topic, you can link all of those to that topic and then you open the topic page and you'll see all of the sub pages or all of the linked pages that are related to that topic. So those kind of apps act a bit more like a relational database, whereas Google Sites is really just a website tool that we happen to be using for an intranet when we're documenting processes. So I hope that's useful in making the choice. My honest recommendation is if you're just getting started out and you haven't got anything right now, you can get started with Google Sites and you can always cut and paste and upgrade to something else later if you need to. Setting up an intranet is not the same level of technical debt that you would have if you were, for example, rolling out a CRM system. When you roll out a CRM system, and you have a lot of heavily structured data, think you've got a personal record and you've got notes against that record and you've got how many phone calls you've made and how many emails you've sent. Transitioning that from one system to another system is an absolute nightmare because you often have to rebuild those individual notes and a multi-relational database, which is really hard. But if you're using Google Sites as the first tool, well, it's quite simple because it's just pretty much a collection of pages. And yes, it has some page structure, but you're effectively just using pretty basic pages. And yeah, sure, you may have some information linked in like a Google Doc or a Google Drive folder, but they still exist in Google Drive or in Google Docs. So if you were to switch or migrate from Google Sites over to Confluence or from Google Sites over to Notion, it's mostly gonna be cut and paste. It's not gonna be too difficult. 
Whereas if you had a multi-relational database, let's say you started with Confluence or you started with Notion and you wanted to try and switch to Google Sites, well, that would be much harder. And honestly, it goes pretty far. We've got a pretty large team and we still use Google because we don't like the subscription overwhelm of using too many apps outside of the Google ecosystem. So we reduce that as much as possible, but also we try and get everything done in the Google way so we can show that it can be done even if you have a large business. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.